Okay, I um, said I was going to talk a little bit about why I like cast iron so much, and um, <clears throat> here's my cast iron collection right here. Um, so I have this dirty one that I'm going to clean in a second. I have three kind of smaller skillets. These are all older, and you can tell because they have the number in them. This is the inches. This one is so crusted over right here, you can only see that it barely and ditto for this one. I've never bothered deep cleaning them. And then this lodge one is newer and it doesn't have the cast iron. You can also tell it's newer because it has this nice other handle, which the older ones don't have. Um, and this one right here, which you can see is very, very smooth. When I got it a couple years ago, it was still a little um, rough. Like you can see here, this has all the bumps. And that's because now they use um, sand molds for cast iron and it makes it a little uh, less um, smooth but the more you use it the smoother it gets and this one's like glass as they say now. So I'm just going to show how I clean this sometimes when it's not super stuck on. That was just my spray um, olive oil and then, sorry for the jumpiness, I'm going to get a paper towel. I'm just going to wipe and You'll see that this will kind of get most of the stickiness or the pieces up. I'm sorry, I'm like moving the view. So if I don't have anything majorly stuck on, that's really all I do is wipe it down. And you can see now there's a few little spots right here, but I don't really worry about that because it's just... I mean, it's my own food that I cooked. And if that grosses you out, probably you should never eat at my house because I do lots of other things that are probably grosser than that. This is my enameled cast iron. So the difference between enameled cast iron and regular is that it's a little, um, you can use soap in it. This is dishwasher safe. Some people think it sticks less. Um, this is a really lovely one I got for my wedding. And then, and you can do stuff to make it less, like I don't mind that it's kind of gray inside. Um, that doesn't bother me. Then these are my corn stick pans. These are kind of fun. These are like old southern style corn stick pans. So um, what are some of the benefits of cast iron? Well, one, they increase the amount of iron in your diet and most Americans have very low iron. It's good for your blood. Your blood needs iron to function. Um, and in some uh, countries where uh, people are very low in iron, they've started making these cast iron fish that they tell them to cook always put the fish in whatever they're cooking, like their um, you know, porridge or beans or whatever, to add iron to their diet. So there really is um, a medical reason to consider getting some more iron in your diet. It's a really easy way to get iron in your diet. Um, I like that they don't go in the dishwasher, that I think they're really simple and quick to clean. Um, they last forever. Like one of the things my sister, the only thing my sister wanted for my grandmother's house after my grandmother died was her cast iron skillet, which was a thing of beauty far better cared for than mine. Um, several of mine are garage sale finds and um, they're just really long lasting, hard to break. They go straight from the stove top to the oven or vice versa. So like if you're making a frittata, um, you know, you want to start with a really hot pan. And so I usually put the, the pan in the preheated oven, let it heat up, and then I take it out, cook it on the stove for a second, and then put it back in the oven. Um, other other things that are nice in the is I use it to broil steak, so I'll put it in the oven, get it nice and hot, and then put the steak in um, to broil in it. They're just really great, easy pans to have. Um, they're not super expensive. Like when you compare buying a few cast iron skillets, even brand new, to um, a really nice set of nonstick, it's the value is great. And then um, ditto for you know if you get even like the ceramic non-stick, the kind that are non-Teflon or, or green non-stick, those are really expensive too and um, can't always go from stovetop to oven because of the handles. So it's just a really nice um, piece of cookware. I use them, like I said, literally every day. This big one is my favorite. This baby is like my pride and joy. It's got my nice silicone handle on it, both sides. I just love it. So we'll just get a quick pan of my lovely cast iron collection and I'll say goodbye. Hopefully that helps you learn a little more about my kitchen. If you have any
about care for your cast iron, re rehabilitating cast iron that's all grody, um, seasoning it. If you've done something like wash it in soap and are wondering what you're supposed to do next, feel free to ask in the comments. Um, there's lots of tutorials on the internet about cast iron, and I think a lot of them overcomplicate things. So um, we'll try to come up with a few ways, and let me know if you have questions. Bye.